Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts slash uh, Bulldog Eating ASMR uh, live on t uh, live on Twitch. Um, and uh, this is a scenario sent in by Cheer Up Ship over on the Discord. And um, if you do want to send me scenarios, there's a link in the video description to my Discord server. And on there, you will find all the details of how to submit scenarios. Now then, <laughs> okay, Twitch chat seems to want a bulldog eating ASMR channel. Uh, bulldog ASMR, I think, is cursed. <laughs> I love Melly to bits, but she makes some horrible noises. Anyway, uh, for the glory of France, I've been tasked with um, building a ship that can, well, deal with anything, but um, I've actually taken out um, some of the light ships because... I've had enough today <laughs> of torpedoes and things. So, fairly even matchup, except uh, the enemy has an extra battleship over me. Right. Modernised Dreadnought it is. Hmm. The Chambard. Let's just go big. Hmm. I'm going to go for the top end tower today with this one. We're just going to. This is supposed to be a glorious flagship for the French fleet. Uh, oh, no. Well, I mean, to be fair, our farts do smell pretty bad, but no, it's the noise far worse than the smell. Uh, unless, of course, she eats um, anything with, like, that she can't eat. <laughs> like, digest properly, because she's very fussy with that. <laughs> You're right there, Mr. Short. I can refund you that, by the way. Uh, da -da. No, French ships can be beautiful. They can also be extremely disgusting looking, but... Uh, <laughs> I'm sure we'll manage. Now I've got 67 smoke, which means... Uh, I just one funnel then. See, I like that there are different funnels, but genuinely, like, they only range from 50 to 55, and the towers don't range that much in smoke. So it's not like it can fit two on this design very easily. I just like like some of the other dreadnought. Some of the dreadnought designs have loads of funnel choice. I quite like that. Um, guns, 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 guns. Seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteens. Uh, uh, I'll just go for seventeen-inch guns. Screw it. Screw everything. Screw sensibleness. Screw normality. It's going to be uh, stupid. In the middle of stupid shit. Uh, lovely stuff. Not even sure this can this can work. No, definitely not, because that, that tower cannot go far enough back. Hold on, I can just go for a moderately stupid ship then. Yeah, we're going to go 17s. Screw all this subtlety. Oh yeah, it's a better mark of gun and all this jazz. I'm just going to go, no, game, I never, ever want you to be magnetic when it is. I don't know um, who coded the uh, when bits stick to other bits, but seriously, just invert, <laughs> invert it. Pisses me off no end. I didn't even move anything that much. There we go. No, no wing turrets. Don't like them. It, like, ever. Uh, really? Huh. 
Might not have wing turrets, but how about an octo gun? <laughs> you that here as well? Not with a four. How about a three? Nope. Triple. Three inch triple. Come on. What gun does fit in there? Reveal your secrets to me, game. Is it a casement? No, it's not a casement. Oh, that's very strange and very disappointing. Oh well. It's like a four inch quad gun up there. Uh, bunch of three inch. And a bunch of two inch guns. Might not be any destroyers in this scenario, but that doesn't mean that we can't have just everything covered in guns that we can possibly have. Uh, vive la revolution! <laughs> you can sneak four inch guns under the boat decks on the tiny pips. Uh, oh, here. Not a quad. Maybe a three inch. They're slightly shorter, I think. I know you can sometimes, but it, it depends on the exact version of the tower. Yeah, it's probably the bigger version on the bigger ships that you can do that with. All, all the secondary guns are a little bit too big to do that. Uh, I know I can fit more four inch. Um... But uh, I, I, I like the aesthetic of that. <laughs> it's clearly <the> Octogun. <laughs> more. Yes, more. No. Um, I think that's... that's. I mean, there aren't even any that, that much in the way of light ships anyway. Um, right. Range, screw it. Maximum bulkheads. Uh, pff, speed. We're going to have a super slow ship. No, we probably shouldn't. Uh, 27. Knots is acceptable. Get my torpedo dodging abilities today. And torpedo 4. Uh... Semi-auto loaders, I think. Should be fine. Super... Hmm. Screw it. Why not? Super heavy tube powder 17-inch shells. It's perfectly uh, fine. I'm sure no one's going to consider that excessive. No, armor is actually pretty weak on this ship. Waiting for a battleship. Needs a little bit of beefing up. There we go. Um, get some more range. <laughs> no. Uh, just more belt on. There we are. Group one. It's group four, my friend. You banned group adjustment with channel points? It's a shame, shame I didn't see that. You know, if you want me to do group one, I can. Uh, but why? <laughs> Uh, fine. Fine. Screw it. You know what? Fuck it. It's kind of salty mood I'm in today. <laughs> there. 
Happy now? I also banned deck armor. Wood is fine. Nobody needs any of this armored deck nonsense. This is just teak. <laughs> See, I can ban things too. <laughs> it's alright, chat. I'm not angry with you. I'm angry with this goddamn game today. Still love it. God damn, it's been pissing me off today. Alright, let's go. Heavy cruisers, torpedo, you carry torpedoes, that's nice, but turn them off. Minimum bulkheads, obviously, you give me ship. Ships AI when it's my turn. Uh, at least it does look pretty. Ah, it's fine. Anyway, back to the saltiness. <laughs> I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. No, it's an interesting challenge to go with uh, Crypt 1. Because uh, it's like one of the kind of no-brainer upgrades, unless you're doing Naval Academy missions, um, to just slap Crip 4 on everything. It's not quite iron. <laughs> no, the, the anti-torpedo protection Vomicon is excellent. Uh, but you see this deck here? This is actually just planks. <laughs> There's no armor plating underneath. I mean, teak, teak is excellent as a as a as a material, <laughs> but uh, it's not really designed particularly well to stand up to uh, naval artillery. Hell, it wasn't unknown for the uh, decking to completely disintegrate just from firing your own guns. Well, the enemy spotted this. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pumice. <laughs> I mean, it's terrible uh, protection qualities, but um, I guess, it, you know, ship would float. <laughs> uh, the enemy always spots us first because I keep building big ships. So I'm assuming that 64,000 tons, we are slightly bigger than the enemy. I have a uh, there, there's a stack called target signature, um, which determines how easy your ships are to spot. And generally, if you use 17 inch guns and the biggest hull, then you're going to be relatively easy to spot. Uh, particularly because they've sent their cruisers out in the front. That's a, that's a novel design. Hmm. I can't decide whether I like that or hate it. <laughs> oh well, looks like they sent the cruiser out to engage. First of all, seriously, a 12 inch gun. Oh, that's because you hit the deck. <laughs> and there's no. There's no protection on the deck. Get in there. <laughs> the enemy can hear the across the horizon. Yep, true. <laughs> See, I quite like France. I actually, I actually really like some of the French ships, especially the cruisers. Cruisers are really nice. They have really nice gun models. Um, they've got the quad guns. Oh, of course, they're Mark One, so we can't hit the side of a barge.
Oh, yeah, that's true. Some of the Italian heavy cruisers are wonderful. Provided they don't have lozenge guns. Um, they have the nicer gun models. But yeah, they, they have that lovely kind of leaf blade shape. Like a... Like a what's it? Oh, Copus. A Xiphos. Or uh, what's the Italian equivalent? Not a well, a little bit like a Gladius, but an, like a an earlier version of it. Yeah, well, that's true. Barges do have a low freeboard and make them hard to hit. <laughs> Everything built in Italy looks good. I beg to differ. They got their turret. Some of their turret models are just idiots. Well, there was that Alfa Romeo that um, looked like Nissan Sunny because they thought it was a great idea to team up with Nissan and think, oh yeah, Alfa Romeo teaming up with Nissan, that's a really good idea. You can have Alfa Romeo, um, you know, design and innovation with Nissan reliability and they did it the other way, <laughs> they did it the other way around. <laughs> Poor thing had Nissan. Is that the Beta? Had Nissan <laughs> design, which at the time was pretty terrible. Block. And uh, <laughs> Alfa Romeo <laughs> reliability. Uh, who thought that was a good idea? <laughs> or was the Beta the one that just. Um, no, that's the Lancia, the Lancia that rusted away to nothing. Lancia, there's, there's an interesting company. Uh, one of my heavy cruiser sinks, but, you know, you know, not kids, what you gonna do? Did fire some torpedoes, they're not gonna hit anything, of course. Uh, we can have a look at the enemy ships. Much smaller than us, 20 knots, 12 inch guns, high TNT. Okay. No. Victor Hugo. Oh, good job. This <sighs> habit of the AI of just running away really pisses me off. Of course, now Italian cars kind of have that. Yeah, with Lamborghini having like German insides now. Well, there go my cruisers. Fun while it lasted, but minimum bulkhead cruisers. It's going to happen. I don't know what you think the secondary guns are going to do against the battleship when there's a cruiser right there. Oh, well, there we go. Take that, Rhineland. Ha! Who needs deck armor? Well, I think this um, Skoda Cree in the Cold War <laughs> and Skoda now. <laughs> um, modern Skoda uh, I, I own one for quite some time. Um, absolutely brilliant things. The old ones were absolute crap. Finland goes down and the Thuringia goes down, leaves just the NASA out. Oh, 
oh yeah, they used to be awful, but now, definitely not the case. Really well featured cars. They come with loads of extras. They're not very expensive, but they're decent. It's basically a Volkswagen or an Audi, but like a third of like well not a third of the price, but like two thirds of the price. Third third of the price. <laughs> Just fine. <laughs> oh my word, that was a horrendous broadside. Anyway, there you go. Victory to the French. Ah, yes. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, those of you on YouTube. Um, yeah, why not? <laughs> you don't need tech armor. Heard it here first. Well, I know I've done it before, but you don't want to be. Anyway, I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye bye.